On January 12, 2024, officers from the Lake Geneva Police Department responded to the report of a woman passed out in her vehicle at an intersection. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just got to get to work. I worked at the clinic. I just saw her. We saw her. He's taking me in. I'm... So car was okay. running in neutral. Um, she's been in and out. She's got her eyes open and closing. Bud light. She had a can of Tito's in her hand up there. This one popped the top. Perfect. Okay. You want me to stick around? Hello? Hello? Can you wake up? Yeah. Yeah. Check for a pulse, Ray. Yes. Yeah, she was just blinking and moving her. Okay. I think we could probably do a sweep of the car for weapons just for safety. Uh, yeah. Hello? Are you okay? Huh? Alright. Do you know where you're at? Oh, no? yeah, definitely impaired. You want to just watch your Yeah, yeah. What's your name? What's your name? Weapons. Do you have any weapons on you? That's not Hello. open. You're good, Ray. If you, if you want to go home. I figured I'm just going to keep maintaining. That was on the floor. Perfect. Thank you. You did a good job. Can we just talk to her? She just kind of walked up on it. She called me. Hey, can you wake up for me? Can you wake up for me? She's conscious and breathing, but she's not reacting to anything. Hey, can you look at me? What's your okay. name? I'm coming off Williams words like me. If you just want to come direct to the scene, Sarge, I think we're good with traffic control. This vehicle is pretty much off the roadway. Hey, what's your name? Can you wake up? Hello? Hello? Can you squeeze my hand? No, uh, yeah, if you need to have a call. Ma'am, can you wake up? Yeah. Hello? 16. What's the name of the RO? Uh, Joanne Maplight, M-A-B-L-Y-T. Tell Joanne, can you hear me? This is the Lake Geneva Police Department. You're involved in an accident. Looks like there's a fuel semi stuck interchange and insurance break. Joanne! Yeah, you're, you were involved in an accident. We're trying to make sure you're okay. What's going on? Have you had something to drink today? You guys good? There's like a deal or something. Wake up for me? Joanne. Joanne, are you having a medical emergency?
Joanne, can you wake up? Stop. Hey, she's conscious breathing. She's probably really, really, really impaired. But she might be having some sort of medical emergency too. But we had two bottles of Tito's, a case of Bud Light. But I mean, she's hardly reacting. Yeah, she's hardly reacting to a sternum rub. So. Are we in park? Hey, bud. Her name's Joanne. Joanne. I'm gonna get a camera. I'm gonna some pictures real quick. Um, some issues today. I don't know if you remember everything. Yeah, yeah. But um, you're under arrest. We're going over to the jail for your fifth offense right. OWI. Right. Um, do you, are you, do you okay to walk and stuff? I don't know where you're yeah. calling them. Okay. So this officer's going to put you in a front restraint belt. Right, that that's way fine. They handcuffs don't go behind your back. Um, I just, I wish I had my, my goddamn. I don't have my, my, I have my, my spare cell phone that is not operable, gotcha. but I don't have my actual cell phone. Who are you trying to get a hold of? I, I called my sister and my daughter. Okay, and, and your sister fine. Nancy? Yes. Did you talk to Nancy? Yes. Okay. I talked to Nancy earlier too, so. I, I just, I just don't know where my phone is or my vehicle. I don't know where. So I can tell you where your vehicle's at. Where's that at? It's at Larry's Towing. Okay, Hotel. Larry's, yeah. So that's where. It's at, okay? All so, right, well, at least I know that. I got you. I just stand up, put your arms yep. out like an airplane, and face, face that, that way. Face yep. that way. Oh, that's okay. Diseases or anything or no? No. Let me just put this on. Not saying that you have anything, it's just. Yeah. Did 
going to take them over to um, Bowles. Yeah, that's literally right across the street. Okay. Mm -hmm. Want to face, no. face me? Yeah. <coughs> Drop your hand down on there. Turn up the Yep. No, just like. Nope. Like this? Yep. First, I should put those on. I want to slip your shoes on because there's a lot of snow out there right now. Yeah, I can try. <laughs> I might need some help. She can, she can, yeah, at least can do it. I'm just going to lock your cuffs on you, see if you lock them so they don't tighten up. Give yeah, my coat too. My coat has, I don't, no, oops. Oh, my bad. We can just put all this stuff in our coat pockets maybe. Yeah, please. <laughs> it's cold, all right. I, I can't put my note right. No. All right. Mm -hmm. Here's your cell phone. Right. You, what okay. you want? It? You want it in there? Yeah, please. Because I don't know where else to put it. It's got a zipper in it. The driver was charged with operating while intoxicated, fifth offense. She was sentenced to three years in jail, three months of probation. Her driver's license will be revoked for 36 months, and she owes $8,939 in fines. Take a seat right there. 